guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an Epiphone, very interesting guitar. Come inside, let's take a look at this one. All right, so it's an Epiphone and it's a signature model. This is James Bay signature model. And he's an English songwriter. He's had number one album. And uh, this is a one pickup where you have the dog ear, P90. And he's kind of an indie rock artist. And he and Epiphone, they've put together a beautiful guitar. All right, so I took it out of its case. I got it up here on the display case. Now this is the Epiphone James Bay Century hollow body electric guitar. This is a reissue of James, his favorite 1966 hollow body arch top. So they took that old 1966 hollow body and they made his own version of it here. It has a laminated maple top, back and sides, and it has a single Kinman P90 HX noiseless single coil pickup. So a lot of times you play P90 guitars and you get that 60 cycle hum. And that tends to mess with some people when they want real quiet parts. If you're not playing through any gain or anything, even if you do have a distortion pedal or a gain pedal like a, an overdrive or something, that 60 cycle hum, sometimes it becomes kind of annoying. This is a noiseless pickup lightweight, thin line, arch top body, and the neck joint is here at the 14th fret. So it gives you really comfortable playing guitar. You're not up here at the, uh, you know, the A pentatonic scale playing leads up here very often. He plays mostly open chords, and um, I don't know that for sure, but the way this guitar is set up, you're not really up in this area doing a lot of leads and things like that. The neck profile, it recreates the exact feel of Bay's original 1966 that he has. James Bay was uh, born in England and he started going to open mic nights and uh, somebody recorded him and made a YouTube video at an open mic night and that's how he ended up getting his record deal. And he's opened for all kinds of guys. Ed Sheeran. Um, he's opened for uh, Taylor Swift. And um, a, bunch of, a bunch of very popular people. And his career is on fire. He's had a number one hit song. And uh, he's got two albums out. And we also have to congratulate him because him and his wife... Just recently had a baby in October of 2021. So it has an elegant rosewood fingerboard with the uh, perloid dot inlays. And it has the classic gold Epiphone logo on the headstock. Gloss finish and all the hardware and everything makes it look like a true vintage guitar. I can see it's got the little thumb bleeders right here. So you can see, I mean, they're rounded over. That's the old name for these uh, little pointers that stick out. You know, they used to be sharp at one time, but these are really nice. And uh, I believe some of these had an Epiphone E somewhere on the pickguard. Uh, this one doesn't have that. It does have the Epiphone logo up there on the truss rod cover. All right, so I'm tuning this thing up and it tunes up real nicely. And I forgot to mention that this has Wilkinson three in a line tuners on here. Made by Wilkinson, great brand. This is his Hat Man logo on the back of the guitar right there. And I just happen to be putting this strap on here, and it has the same Hat Man logo on the strap. So what a cool feature that is. So we'll open this up, 
And it comes with a designer strap, which is nice to have. You've got a couple of those little silicon gel packs that absorb moisture. Do not eat those. And um, it has its little uh, certificate of authenticity. The limited edition James Bay 1966 Century. And, you know, you've got the serial number right there that I should cover. But, uh, you know, let me read this real quick for you. Over a hundred years, Epiphone has designed and built the world's finest fretted instruments. This limited edition's James Bay 1966 Century is a tribute to a truly legendary guitarist and represents both a lasting investment, which is good, and excellent in musical instrument craftsmanship. So... A very well-crafted guitar. Cool picture of James. And a uh, beautiful Epiphone case. And it's all here, guys. It's ready for somebody to come and take this thing home. Uh, last thing I can do is um, let me plug this beauty in. And I'll strum a couple of chords on it so we can get a little idea of how it sounds. And we can listen to that noiseless P9. Pickup, so all you can really play around with is your tone control. And honestly, 95% of the guitar players in the world turn their tone control all the way to 10 and they leave it there. noiseless P90 in this and so your average P90 when you have the volume all the way up I'm over here in this little um, Tone Master Deluxe Reverb you'd be able to hear that 60 cycle hum this guitar is completely quiet <laughs> down here today. Keith's down here. He's going to play this thing a little bit for us too. Nice action on it. I think Gibson made these, I'm going to say the 40s. Well, that's based on a 1966 66. hollow body, and the um, model is a century. Oh, okay. I was thinking of like an L number back away. So they had something similar, but... Seven Nation Army. No singing. Oh. <laughs> Man, where'd all these rules come from? <laughs> 